a criminal, not stewardess. Carol Middleton exposed Doria forged identification in Netflix scene. In Moody's 2013 book, Kate, a biography, the author explained Carol's BA training proved very useful for a time in the spotlight when Kate married Prince William in 2011. After brushing up on her French, Carol Middleton bagged a job as ground staff for British Airways. She met Michael Middleton when he was also working as ground crew before going on to become a flight dispatcher, while Carol later became a cabin crew member. This raises a big problem about Meghan's mother Doria, a person whose resume is not clear. She claims the job as a flight attendant, but unlike Carol Middleton, she has no documents to prove it or any information about it. What exactly is being hidden here? The short answer to the question must be, the question remains open. There's an apparent gap in Doria Raglan's resume that needs to be explained. The allegation can be found that Doria Raglan went to jail for not paying taxes in relation to the travel agency business she ran, the business having been bought for her by Thomas Markle Sr. It's claimed this explains her absence in Meghan Markle's life from junior through to graduation from senior high school. There are also alternative explanations for why the young Meghan was sent to live with her father, that Doria had entered a relationship and there was no room for the unwanted Meghan, and that Thomas lived in a better area and could obtain better schooling. The latter explanations sound more realistic, so why do the jail rumours still persist? One possible reason is the lack of evidence of Doria Ragland working as a flight attendant as claimed. Which airline and on what routes? Do any workmates or regular clients remember her? There's a complete dearth of any such evidence. Especially photographs back in the 80s, working as a stewardess was a high status job. Women would always have their photos taken in uniform but apparently non-exist of Doria Ragland in her uniform at the time. Many people have heard that he hit the lottery jackpot, winning an incredible amount of $700,000. With some sources, the amount varies, but it's still huge. But this money did not bring Thomas happiness, because in fact, he didn't win it honestly. Thomas, on the advice of his beloved wife, used connections. It was during this difficult period of her life that Doria decided to divorce her husband. She left and without waiting for a divorce, filed for alimony, claiming maintenance not only for her daughter, but also for herself. During this period, Thomas Markle began to drink. Since, as we've already written, the travel company was officially owned by Thomas, Doria decided to create problems for him by not paying taxes. In America, tax evasion is a very serious crime, and you can go to jail for it. And since he already had a suspended criminal record, Doria expected to put her ex-husband behind bars for a long time. However, from witnesses, the tax service learned that it's she who's solely engaged in the affairs of the firm, which according to documents belonged to Thomas Markle. The case was referred to the criminal police department and then to court. Doria faced 15 years in prison for the crime, received four years in prison for financial fraud thanks to the good soul of Thomas, who hired her a good lawyer. But why is Thomas, who's been treated unfairly all his life and his family silent about the antics of the unscrupulous Doria Ragland, who's now the only one who's dear to the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. Defenders of Miss Raglan come to a defence and point out that Doria is now a board-certified social worker, subject to stringent background checks and all of that. However, when checking this claim, it can be easily verified that social workers with convictions older than seven years can in fact hold registration. California Criminal Convictions and Social Worker Discipline is written, 